I can't not do it. And I, I've been holding out for too long. I'm, I'm giving in. I'm gonna reread the Summer I Turned Pretty series, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna vlog it. It has like all the hype right now with the show coming out, which when I first watched it, I was like, okay, I need to reread the series. Like, I don't remember anything that happened. I read it so long ago. I don't remember anything. I remember the characters and like who she ends up with and that's it. So I was gonna keep it that way. So like the show would be more exciting as I watched it because I genuinely love the show. I think they did a really good job. I think I like the show more now than when I first read the books, but I, I'm caving. I decided I'm reading it. I, I, I've rewatched the show twice and it's just not enough. Like I need more and I decided I'm just gonna read it. I'm gonna reread the whole series, all three books so I can just be satisfied already because I feel like I've been like on a cliffhanger since I finished the first season and I was gonna hold off like I said, but I just can't do it. I'm reading it and I'm vlogging it and I'm gonna tell you everything and all my opinions on everything as I read it. Everyone please stop and give a round of applause to whoever made the soundtrack for the TV show. Tell me how they used Taylor Swift's entire discography, executed it perfectly. Who Who's responsible for that? Because I would like to kiss them on the mouth. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love reading things after I watch them so I can like picture it vividly in my head. Only downside is I'm in England right now, don't have the physical copies, but I cannot fucking wait till I get home. So I'm reading them on iBooks on my phone. So I'm on chapter one, obviously I just started. It's like starts right away with them in the car. And I was wondering when I was watching it, like why the mom was in the back seat. I was like, that's weird. My mom would never, but I guess in the book she's like sleeping in the backseat and belly sings free falling which is one of my favorite songs but in the show she sang something different you're telling me they had that fat ass music budget and then they didn't use free falling i think it's so cute how susanna like ships her with her sons like she's like you are destined to be part of my family okay i was gonna get into this later but i think i'm gonna get into it right now at the beginning because i just read conrad's introduction where it's conrad was the older one by a year and a half he was dark completely unattainable, unavailable. My reasoning as like, how could anyone be team Jeremiah when Conrad exists? Because as much as Conrad like is sometimes like the meaner one, I think Jeremiah's character, especially in the show, is just like everything I would not want in a boyfriend. I hate like the class clown type. I don't know why. I just get like the biggest ick and like cringe from boys like that. But like Conrad, like the quiet that that is what i like i i just can't with like the jeremiah type is like even if he didn't do what he does in the third book i still wouldn't be on his team like i just don't like that kind of character like the nice guy character i just don't like like it feels so fake and forced to me i feel like conrad's so much deeper and like they have so much more chemistry because jeremiah's out here flirting with everyone it's not special but when conrad does it it's special because it's like it's him he doesn't do that with everyone anyway i'm getting ahead of myself we'll get into that more as the book goes on see belly understands me literally the next paragraph she goes in like saying how like jeremiah he's too busy having fun to ever be embarrassed about anything he does um i bet jeremiah was more popular than conrad at school i bet the girls liked him better i bet that if it weren't for football conrad wouldn't be some big deal he would just be quiet moody conrad not a football god and i liked that i liked that conrad preferred to be alone or playing his guitar like uh, that is just so much more desirable to me than like the outgoing like i'm thinking about like the dancing scene at the deb practice when he like turns on that song and like start dancing like twerking <laughs> like i would have been like get out like Conrad would never do that. Finish chapter one and just the instant chemistry between Belly and Conrad. It's just like the show, they did it so well. I'm at the belly flop scene, which I thought was so cute when they did the belly flop scene in the show. It was exactly how I pictured it in my mind. I was like, they literally sucked that out of my head and put it on the screen. So it's so cute to read it again. I'm at the part where they're talking about Conrad quitting football. And honestly, it makes me so mad when people are like, Jeremiah's the better brother, like Conrad's an asshole, whatever. Conrad literally found out his mom is dying and has to deal with that on his own. He's like grieving his own mother. I think Jeremiah and Belly are cute friends. I just don't ship them at all. Oh, this is like the muffin scene in the show, but this is like in the book when all the boys like Jeremiah and Steven are making fun of Belly being like, you're a cry baby. Are you gonna cry because you can't hang out with us? And then Conrad's like, leave her alone. He's always defending her. <laughs> I love how she goes over his shoulder. Conrad said, good night, Belly. And that was it. I was in love. <laughs> about the part where she's swimming at night and conrad's smoking that scene in the show it literally makes me weak in the knees when he said that in the show i was like 
I would have literally been like, anything you want, sir. I'm reading the part where they're at the movie theater and Jeremiah is like looking at Belly and for the first time, Belly's like, oh my God, Jeremiah wants to kiss me. And it's like really shocking to me because I'm a friends to lovers stan. Like a lot of my favorite books are friends to lovers. It's one of my favorite tropes, which is like usually an unpopular opinion. But I just feel like no romantic chemistry between them. I genuinely feel like they're just supposed to be friends. Especially in the show. In the show, I felt like they had no, like, chemistry at all. Like, the only time, like, I felt, like, anything was, like, during their, like, pool kiss. But even then, it was, like, the build- there was no build-up. Like, it was so, like, forced and random. I forgot in the books that Steven's, like, not even there in the first one. <laughs> like, he literally leaves right away. Like, he's going on a college tour, and he's leaving for the rest of summer, and it's not even Belly's birthday yet. I not realize that, but I liked him in the show, so. Bro, the way Conrad- always defense belly against the other boys like steven was just about to throw her in the water and then conrad's like don't like stop they're like neighbor like some kid from their neighborhood is like like belly comes out in her swimsuit and the neighbor's like now trying to like talk to her and conrad like interrupts and goes she's fine and now it's time for her to go to bed good night belly like trying to get her to leave i think he's jealous okay i'm at the bonfire scene i wish they would have kept it a little more similar in the show to the book because Conrad seems so much more concerned and like jealous than he did in the show. Like in the show, it didn't seem like he gave a fuck at all that she was leaving with Cam. Jeremiah was the one that cared. I think the reason that I'm like a Jeremiah hater, not that I actually hate him. He's just so like not my type. Like I'm in a whole scene where like Conrad is like being such an asshole at the bonfire. And I still like him more because Jeremiah comes running over with a smile on his face and he's like, fucking skipping and he's so happy and he's like what's going on like he's just always so clueless and i just i do not like the golden retriever type at all and i know that's a lot of people's type but oh my god it gets on my last nerve how he never knows what's going on he's always happy and like this goofy personality like i just don't like it that might be a personal issue then this paragraph literally explains this is jeremiah hated it when people fought it was part of why he always played the clown he took it upon himself to bring levity to any situation it was sweet but also kind of annoying i agree i feel like he just like lacks depth and anything interesting like i feel like jeremiah and belly shippers like it's just boring like it's just it's not fun or interesting low-key when belly was young she was annoying as fuck like oh my god she's a tattletale cry baby it's annoying <laughs> like damn um please excuse my hair i have no idea what's going on but okay i'm at the first like party scene when kim invited her to a party and i see what they did now in the show they combined this party with the bonfire and kind of the birthday party kind of combined them all into like two separate events instead of three like conrad almost just got in the fight and then belly almost had that embarrassing like this isn't you like look at me moment but she didn't get decked in the face in the book thank god that shit was so embarrassing <laughs> and now she's in the car with conrad they're alone and this is the part in the show where he like plays with her hair i'm like in the middle of doing my makeup and have my phone propped up reading as i do this but now i'm at the part where they're at the drive-in and i didn't realize how different they adapted this because in the show obviously like the boys come and crash her date and she gets super upset but she just said in the in the book she was like i wish the boys would just like show up here to make me feel more comfortable because she was so nervous that cam was gonna kiss her um and then they left the drive in nothing happened i'm like seeing all these differences now that i didn't realize which i'm kind of glad i didn't reread the books right before watching like i had no expectations because i basically forgot everything i didn't i wasn't constantly comparing it to the book usually when you read the book first you end up hating the adaptation at least for me so this is a good experience <laughs> okay is it just me and it's like belly treat her mom like shit like compared to Susanna, like she's so mean to her mom i've been thinking it the whole time i've been reading and i remember thinking about it the first time i was reading but now i'm really starting to notice it like this paragraph it says my mother said we miss you around the house if Susanna had said it i would have been flattered but but from my mother it was just really annoying like what why is she so obsessed with Susanna and like hate her mom and her mom doesn't even do anything wrong i forgot how like little interaction between belly and conrad there is in this book so i'm like grasping at every little detail cam cameron's like i know that one of them was your first kiss and then she's like guess which one and he's like conrad because of the way he looks at you but it wasn't him you you can tell that this book was written like years ago i think this book came out 10 years ago and you can just tell like things that just like would not be okay to say i mean they were never okay but like they were i guess more common like when taylor said like don't be so gay i mean at least jeremiah was like don't say that further down that page they start chanting man up and telling steven to man up you i just got to the steven and taylor kiss taylor is so much worse in the books like she is so annoying obsessed with male attention 
Like, come on. I don't really like the flashback chapters. Like, I kind of liked how in the show, it, they, like, combine the flashbacks with the present time. This whole book is, like, going back and forth. Oh, the little Conrad and Belly moments that are so rare. I guess this one, like, equates to the dancing scene that we got in the show. It's like, he just came home and he's blasting music and she goes into his room to tell him to turn it down. And he, like, kind of dances with her a little bit. And then the last paragraph is so cute. It says, Conrad had a way of looking at me, at you, at anybody that made everything unravel and want to fall at his feet. He made it so hard not to love him. When he was sweet like this, I remember why I did. Used to love him, I mean. I remembered everything. <laughs> I'm at the dance scene from when she was 11 and he's teaching her how to dance. Cute. The fight between Conrad and Belly, except it really came out of nowhere in the, in the book. Literally was so unprovoked. Like she was just making her drink in the kitchen and Conrad comes in. And he's like, why are you mad at me? She fucking snaps at him and is like, why don't you go smoke a cigarette? And then he says, why don't you go look in the mirror some more? And then she's like embarrassed because she's like, oh my god, everyone thinks I'm vain now. See, the reason I like books though is like you get to see like how the character actually feels. In the show, you can only see so much. But in this, like it's, it's he was sorry. It was written all over his face. But like in the show, you wouldn't have known that because I don't know if they even like tried to show that he was sorry for saying it. Like that's when she realized her like crush died, even though it didn't, but... Oh yeah, I knew this was a direct quote that they said in the show. I wondered if this was the way old crushes died, with a whimper, slowly, and then just like that, gone. Girl, don't lie to yourself, you know it's not gone. The fuck? I forgot the skinny dipping scene was like different, but this is weird. Like, Belly's like trying to force Cam to do it. He's like, I don't want to, maybe later. I stared at him. Wasn't he the one who was supposed to be convincing me? Are you serious? What I really wanted to say was, are you gay? Girl, what if he just doesn't want to skinny dip with you? Like, damn weirdo okay i think this was supposed to be like something cute that cam said but if someone said this to me i'd be so offended he says something about her nose and then she goes i hate my nose and he's like why i think it's cute it's the imperfections that make things beautiful <laughs> so he's basically like your nose is not good but i like it anyway what do you mean the imperfections if i was her i'd have been like imperfections i never said it was an imperfection it's rude also tell me how cam is like a devout vegetarian and then it says they just stopped and got fried clams that's not vegetarian <laughs> that makes no sense but okay fuck i'm on her birthday scene when they're opening the gifts and conrad's like i forgot sorry oh my god i thought they did that scene so well in the show like how you watched him like take the present out look at it and then put it in his pocket and then you got to see him say he forgot because in the book it's not like that you just think he actually forgot but i liked that we got like the little inside that belly didn't know about until later belly Heike has the most pick me energy ever when it comes to these boys i can't the way conrad brought a girl over as belly has her boyfriend there like you're being a hypocrite anyway and she's like talking mad shit about the girl i mean like she's ugly and gross and disgusting don't you think and cam's like no what's your problem ew belly i don't fuck with her in the books i'm at jeremiah's like confession i can feel it coming i just don't believe it for a second like this came out of fucking nowhere okay even if he does like her then it was poorly written because there was no build-up at all like i thought that before even in the show but now i'm reading it no build-up they had no scenes where there was any tension between them no chemistry he never once like hinted that he liked her and now he's gonna be like i like you no you don't since when why haven't you shown it at all even belly is like he's about to say something i don't want to hear he was going to go and change everything like she doesn't even want him to say it because she doesn't like him either because they have no fucking chemistry and they don't like each other like that like imagine finding out that the girl you go on to date for a long ass time says this about you when you confess her feelings in her head i could barely look at him because i didn't feel that way i didn't see him that way there was only one person and for me, that person was Conrad, <laughs> his brother. Their relationship was just so forced, her and Jeremiah, like, just proving my points back and forth. She literally was like, sorry, I just don't see you like that. I still like Conrad. And then he's like, I'm not mad at you. It's just, why does it always have to be Conrad? He literally only likes Belly because he thinks that he can win her over Conrad. It's just finally something he could do better. It's like a competition. Oh, it's so annoying. They didn't kiss like they do in the show. But honestly, that makes so much more sense. There is no kiss because it was so weird in the show when it was like, do you think you'll ever feel the same way about me? And she like nodded her head, even though I know damn well that girl was totally caught off guard, has never romantically thought about Jeremiah ever in her life. And she literally just agreed to it because Conrad had been rejecting her. And then she's like, yeah, I think I think I could like you. And then they kissed. Like at least in the book, it's more realistic. Like she's like, no, I still like Conrad, sorry. And he leaves all mad. 
And before the Team Jeremiah like stands want to come at me and say that I'm wrong, right after that quote, like literally the that quote was the last paragraph of the chapter where he's like, why does it always have to be Conrad? It flashes back to a scene when they're kids where Jeremiah tells Belly, my dad likes Conrad more than me. Like everyone likes Conrad more, whatever. Jenny Han wrote that specifically to show how Jeremiah comes second to Conrad and is trying to beat him and make it a competition. Not even make it a competition, but like just win at something. I just don't like them together. Oh, and I, Jeremiah just keeps proving my point again and again. I don't know how anyone is team Jeremiah. Like it just literally blows my mind. I know like half the people watching this probably are, but like how? <laughs> like further in this flashback paragraph, he's continuing to just be like, Conrad's just better than me at everything. Um, one day I'm gonna be better than him at something. And then immediately is like, I know that you like Conrad. Like you look at him, like you love him, all this stuff. And then Belly goes, you just think that because you're jealous of him. And then Jeremiah's like, I'm not jealous. I just wish I could be as good as him. Like, okay, sorry, that's sad that you're insecure. But like, it's just further proving my point. He's literally only pursuing Belly because he knows that she's in love with Conrad. Oh my God. Literally the last sentence of that throwback chapter was Belly saying that she knows she's going to love Conrad forever. I just don't understand how anyone doesn't chip Conrad and Belly. Like as much as their relationship was toxic, it's just so obvious that they were going to end up together that I don't even know how you picked the other side. Everything's coming back to me as I'm reading it, but I totally forgot this all happened. Belly just confessed her love to Conrad. She was inspired by Jeremiah, like confessing his his love to her that she went to Conrad and was like okay I need to tell him and then he's like well you shouldn't love me like you shouldn't do that I'm like I'm not the right one for you and she's bold and like you like me too I know you do but like the reason that Conrad's saying that is because he knows he's not in the right state to be with her like he literally just found out his mom is dying and he's keeping it to himself and he's in like a state of grief and he's literally isolated himself it's not his time and she's gonna get all mad because she doesn't know there was no scene like this in the show but it's giving like a mixture of their fight scene when she's like you showed up just to remind you that you exist because you want me to like you that's kind of what she's saying here just like every time i get over you you reel me back in because you you like that i like you and then she's like this is it like you don't get any access to me anymore not as a friend or anything and then he's being like a dick back they're just like in a fight belly is being so fucked up she's literally like trying to guilt him because she thinks the only thing that's wrong is that his parents are getting divorced and so she's like Susanna was crying the other day because of you she couldn't even get out of bed do you even care do you know how selfish you are like all this stuff not realizing that <sighs> girl shut the fuck up <sighs> now Jeremiah and Conrad are literally fist fighting everyone is just being so mean to Conrad because like I know they don't know but like Jeremiah is like We've left you alone this whole summer, getting drunk and sulking like a little kid. You're supposed to be the older brother, right? The big brother? Act like it then. Man up and handle your business. Like, your mom is dying, bro. I'm confused because did Jeremiah know in the books that she was sick? Because Susanna just came out and Laurel and then Laurel's like, oh my god, they know. And then Jeremiah starts crying. So did he know? Like, how long has he known? I'm confused. I don't know, but Belly's about to find out. Oh, this part's depressing. Okay, gotta go. She's like comforting Jeremiah and they fall asleep in his bed while they're crying. It was so much more sad in the TV show with like the family. Oh my god, it hurts. When she sees Susanna and she says, you'll look after him, won't you? And Belly says, who? Susanna says, you know who. Talking about Conrad. Oh, finally, Belly's gonna start appreciating her mom because she just found out that her mom was the one that went back and bought the dress, not Susanna who this whole time she just assumed it was Susanna because god forbid her mom did something nice for her Yeah, they replaced that with like the Deb ball dress, which that was a good change I liked that the whole like Deb thing that they added they definitely changed this scene in the show to like make it more appropriate Um, which is Conrad and Belly's first kiss because it is like she goes out on the beach and he's all upset Then in the show he like tries to kiss her and she's like I don't want to take advantage of you like you need someone right now You're emotional. You're going through some something. I don't want to take advantage of you and he's like I want you I need you whatever and then in this He's literally crying and she's like, how can I fix it? And kisses him. And then this is the part where he's like, he pulled away and then he's like, I do think about that. You know I do. I just can't. Can you just stay and be here with me? Oh, I like it so much more that she hasn't kissed Jeremiah though. I did not like that change in the show. That was so uncalled for. Because then she like kissed both of them, like two episodes apart. Like the absolute foreshadowing happening right here when she's like, I loved Conrad and I probably always would. I would spend my whole life loving him one way or another. Maybe I would get married, maybe I would have a family, but it wouldn't matter because the peace of my heart, the peace where Summer lived, would always be Conrad's. Like how, how could you, like 
Maybe you like Jeremiah better. Maybe that's the case, right? But how do you ship Belly with Jeremiah when she says things like this? Because then when she's with Jeremiah, you know in the back of her head, she's thinking shit like this. You know what I mean? Like, she's not in it. There's no way that you actually think Belly and Jeremiah are better together. Belly just like straight up ghosted Cam. He's like calling her and shit and she's like, I'm just not gonna answer. And then with Jeremiah, they're just pretending it didn't happen that he like confessed his love to her. I forgot about the chapter. What is it? Like Christmas time? Conrad goes to her actual house. Is this the last chapter? Conrad calling her and saying, I'm, on, I'm in my car on my way to your house. Can I see you? Well, I guess I finished the first book. Time to move on to the second. Actually, I think I'm gonna start in the morning. I'm tired. Oh shit, it's 2.30 a.m. It was pretty different than the show, but like not in a bad way. Like I genuinely think it was a good adaptation. The show kept the essence and everything about the characters exactly the same. I feel like the way they act, I mean, they made Conrad definitely nicer. And then they made a lot more romance between Jeremiah and Belly. And they made Belly less annoying and less pick me. And they made Taylor less annoying. And then they actually included Steven. Um, so there was a lot of changes, but they definitely kept the essence since there and then they kept like the main plot points but like changed them kind of like combined them into one and like made it less repetitive i don't know i think the adaptation was really good i'm excited for season two and i'm excited to read book two which i'm gonna start tomorrow so mm, conrad's been calling her every night from school you know what i was just thinking of in the books belly still has not found the necklace that he got her for her birthday that he said he forgot about she still hasn't found it i think she finds it in this one <laughs> forgot about this okay so the flashback from the end of the last book when he came to her house during christmas break is when they go to the beach house together alone personally i don't think that taylor and belly should be friends anymore like they are the most toxic friends they don't even like each other they're just like friends out of habit like belly literally said that they've been friends for so long it's just a habit at this point and like something they can't stop doing and like they just are not compatible like taylor keeps pushing her to like get with boys belly says no taylor doesn't listen and then taylor's like going off on her for like being mopey since Susanna died like girl you're a shitty friend it's not Belly's point of view and it's Jeremiah's finally getting some other perspectives which is always exciting oh no Jeremiah said he would like walked up to Conrad's room to like say goodnight but he didn't go in because he heard him crying choking sobs my heart oh i forgot that this is the book the prom and conrad i thought i knew what heartbreak felt like i thought heartbreak was me standing alone at the prom but that was nothing this was heartbreak when she found out susanna died like i know it's his mom's funeral and everything but he conrad's in the basement with a girl and belly just walked down there see but then belly just has to go and make it worse because why did she just tell him to go to hell on the day of his mom's funeral it was the worst thing I've ever said to anyone ever. It wasn't that I'd said the words before, but the look on his face, I'll never forget it. Oh, and then he hits her with the, I know it was a mistake being with you, you're just a kid. They are so, you know who they remind me of? Some of you are about to get real mad at me, but they remind me of Hardy and Tessa from after. <laughs> why are they like this okay why would jeremiah call belly in the middle of the night and the first thing he says is, is conrad's gone after your mom just died and belly was told susanna's gone okay so conrad is missing he ran away from school he's missed a bunch of exams and jeremiah just called her good morning it's the next day and i think i'm at the prom chapter i really 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 hate my one complaint in this book i have a few but my biggest complaint is the formatting and the way it's not chronological order, like the way the book jumps around, every chapter is like three years ago, three months ago, present tense, two months ago, present tense, four years ago. Like it keeps jumping around and I get why they did it like that because it alludes to a situation and then the next chapter will give you the backstory on it. But I don't like it. I hate that like they mentioned the prom chapter in the beginning in the present tense. And now I'm halfway through the book and they're going back in time to tell the prom story. Like why couldn't it just be told in chronological order? I feel like they did that really well in the show. They made it in chronological order. They took all the throwback flashback chapters and just made them present tense and it made so much more sense but yeah anyway i think i'm finally at the prom chapter conrad just told her he'll go with her so she doesn't go with anyone else he doesn't want to go but he doesn't want her to go with someone else so she's getting ready right now she's put on her dress this one shit hits the fan i forgot that he forgot the corsage he just like made it so obvious that this was not important to him even though it was important to her you can't defend him in this one okay wait i'm realizing now that they made this prom scene a lot 
like the dead ball scene conrad had just asked because his mom told him to well in this it's very similar how his mom well she just found out that his mom made him come the dress thing was kind of similar i feel like if they do this prom scene it's gonna feel so repetitive so did they put that in to replace the prom i wonder that would be weird though because i feel like the prom scene is like a significant like part of the story so i feel like they have to leave it in because it's like what breaks her and Conrad up. I, I, I'm i scared for this prom scene in the show because I know it's gonna convert so many people to Team Jeremiah. <laughs> he literally just told her, I think I'm just gonna go back to school. Like I don't really wanna go to the after prom. What a dickhead, oh my God. I can't defend him here. Like this is his fatal flaw, self-sabotager. <sighs> I forget even why he did this. In his head, he had a reasoning, but I forget why, so. I just finished the prom scene. Conrad left like what an asshole. Oh my god. She basically was like, okay Like if you leave or we're breaking up and he's like wait, like let's talk about it And she's like no fuck you and she walked away thinking he would follow her and he just drove away <laughs> What a dick But I do love this part i'm at where steven comes in her room the next morning and is like conrad's not worth it while she's like crying It's like their first sweet sibling moment in this book, the second book, it's only Belly and Jeremiah's point of view. So Jeremiah looks like such the good guy because you're in his head and you can see what he's thinking, but we're only getting other people's perception of Conrad. We don't know what he's thinking. So we don't know why he's doing what he's doing. So he just looks like a dickhead. And then we're in Jeremiah's head and Jeremiah's being all nice, being like, fuck Conrad. Like, I hope he didn't ruin Belly's prom, whatever. I would have done it right. But I'm sure if we were in Conrad's head, he'd be saying like why he did what he did, what he's feeling, and people would sympathize with him. But they didn't give us Conrad's perspective in this book because they want wanted people to switch on him so that we could get a second chance romance because i'm annoyed now because they don't give them equal opportunity see oh my god okay the timeline confused me so much now we're back in the present tense i forgot that the prom wasn't the present tense now we're back in the present tense when conrad's missing and they're searching for him i hate the formatting okay belly was just snooping through his things and found the infinity necklace fact that he brought it with him to college he took it from the beach house to home to college with him to have like this little piece of belly with him. I can't believe belly just took the necklace and started wearing it. Why is that like embarrassing to me? Like why would you take it and just wear it while you're going to go see him and he's gonna know you've snooped through his things and he didn't even get the chance to give it to you, you just stole it. Like what if it wasn't even for you? Like I know she knows it's for her, but what if it wasn't? So the last time she saw Conrad was Susanna's funeral when she told him to go to hell and now they're on their way to the beach house because they found out that's where he is. <gasps> We're finally at the chapter that I've been waiting for because of this fucking timeline. They're going back in time to when Conrad came to her house over winter break and then they went to the beach house together. This has been brought up since the first book and we've never gotten what the fuck happened until now. If they don't play Style by Taylor Swift during this scene when he's picking her up, they literally just said, he picked me up, his headlights were off, the car was dark, and literally the line in Style is, you come and pick me up, no headlights. So perfect. This beach house part is so cute, first of all. Conrad is being such a softy. Why can't he be like this all the time? Second of all, the part that just happened. Ugh. So they were outside and it was like freezing cold and they came inside and she put her hands on his face. She made a joke and said something about him being cold hearted and he said, yeah, for everyone but you. <laughs> My favorite trope. Something in the books that is a lot more prominent is the friendship between Jeremiah and Belly. Like they're actually like childhood best friends. Like I'm at the part where I'm in Jeremiah's point of view and he's talking about when they were little and they used to like share beds. Like they would sleep in the same bed and they used to like try to read each other's mind. And he's like, Belly was convinced I could read her mind, but really I just knew her so well. Like I feel like they didn't show like the friendship as much in the show they made it more like jeremiah and steven were best friends so that's something a little different i think they were trying to make it more of a romantic thing between her and jeremiah than it really actually was they're finally talking about like the muffins that they love that Susanna used to buy the good muffins got one scene where conrad got her the muffins and then she's like actually i don't want any i'm good and then he's like okay <gasps> so the realtor just came to the house and they found out that the dad is trying to sell the beach house and then conrad called belly his girlfriend to the realtor and then she's like obsessed with the fact that he said that i don't know why he said that he probably just like on impulse when she was like who's that and he's like don't tell jeremiah that the house is being sold the dad just showed up and jeremiah found out they're selling the house and then he gets mad because like belly and conrad both knew and he didn't know they found out the reason that conrad ran away went to the beach house is because he was trying to stop it from being sold so See, if we were in his perspective, I think we would be on his side more, but we have no idea what he's thinking until everyone else finds out, so. Yet yeah, another chapter of Conrad and Jeremiah being in competition with each other, except this one. I can see the fault on both sides. Their dad is making them wrestle when they were kids. 
Conrad lost. And instead of congratulating Jeremiah for beating Conrad, the dad is like, Conrad, you need to be better. You need to do better, whatever, whatever. Criticizing Conrad for everything he did wrong instead of congratulating Jeremiah. So Jeremiah's like, it's not worth even trying to beat Conrad anymore because I just feel like shit about myself anyway. Why do I think it's so hot that Belly's trying to swim in the ocean and Conrad's like, no, you're drunk, don't do that. And she runs into the ocean and he runs after her and throws her over his shoulder. And then he put her down and then she apologized for like what she said at the funeral and he said he forgives her. And then she thought he was gonna kiss her and then he's like, okay, let's go inside. And now she's like throwing a whole tantrum because she's embarrassed, I think. I don't know, she's like running inside, she's drunk. Okay, Jeremiah's finally asking Conrad if he even likes Belly. And then Conrad's like, do you? And then Jeremiah's like, I'm not the one that took her to prom, you are. And he's like, well, I only went cause she asked me. I didn't want to. And then Conrad's like, no, I don't like her. And Jeremiah knows that he's lying. He's like, I know you're in love with her. Conrad's self-sabotage is so bad. Oh my God. I forgot that Laurel just bitch slapped the fuck out of Belly. I forgot this happened. They're definitely taking that out of the show. Okay, well, they instantly forgave each other. Laurel convinced Mr. Fisher to keep the house. The boys are so excited. Belly's gonna stay for a little bit longer. All is well now. I love how Conrad and Laurel are like tight. And then like Belly was super close with Susanna. Oh. Conrad just finished his exam and Jeremiah and Belly were waiting outside and he came out like all smiling and excited. His first time smiling since Susanna died and he ran and picked up Belly and spun her around. It's so cute when he's happy. Fucking Jeremiah interrupted. It says his voice is strained and he comes over. He's like, you still have another exam, Conrad. Can you not ruin the moment? What the fuck? I don't remember this shit. To Jeremiah while they're alone, she's like, does Conrad ever ask about me? Jeremiah's like, don't talk about him with me. And she's like, what? Why? And then he kisses her. And then fucking Conrad sees them. Oh my God. I want to see this in the show so bad. You can really tell who Belly favors though because Conrad's like, no, don't stop. I'm the one who's interrupting. And he walks away and Belly immediately runs out of the car and chases after him. Doesn't even look back at Jeremiah. But then Conrad's like, give me the necklace because he notices she's wearing it. And then she's like, no. And he's like, it's not yours. I never gave it to you. You just took it. But this is the part I agree with Belly when she goes, that's when I got it. I finally understood. It wasn't the thought that counted. It was the actual execution that mattered. The showing up for somebody. The intent behind it wasn't enough. Not for me. Not anymore. It wasn't enough to know that deep down he loved me. You had to actually say it to somebody. Show them that you cared. And he just didn't. Not enough. True. It's very true. As much as I love Conrad, he doesn't treat her right yet. Just because he bought the necklace, he didn't give it to her. And then, of course, Conrad being Conrad and speaking out of anger, just says things he doesn't mean when he's mad, when he goes, leave, go to Jeremiah. He's the one who wants you. I don't. I never did. And then she runs back. Oh, and then it started pouring rain on the way home. Now they have to sleep at a motel. And both the boys refuse to sleep in the bed, so they're sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Belly's in the bed. I forgot about all of this. Okay, Belly's on the verge falling asleep. And she hears Conrad say quietly, earlier when I said I never wanted you, I didn't mean it. I didn't know what to say or if I was supposed to say anything. All I knew was this was what I'd been waiting for at this exact moment. I opened my mouth to speak and then he said it again. I didn't mean it. See, he just says things out of anger, but he doesn't mean it. He's sweet. This is like the official breakup, I think. This is like their last straw. Belly's accepting the fact that her and Conrad are never going to be together. It says, I looked at him and I felt so sad because this thought occurred to me. I will never look at you in the same way ever again. I'll never be that girl again. The girl who comes running back every time you push her away. The girl who loves you anyway. She's giving up on him. What the fuck is this last chapter? A couple years later? A couple years later? Okay, well, I finished book two. I literally read that in one day. Gonna start book three in the morning. Actually, I might start it tonight. It's only 11. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting book three, but I'm not gonna get very far in because I'm already tired. I have to wake up at seven in the morning because I'm getting my hair done. You're gonna see my hair transformation in this video by accident. The last paragraph of the first chapter of like the prologue or whatever. I've only ever loved two boys, both with the last name Fisher. Conrad was first. I loved him in a way that you can really only do the first time around. It's the kind of love that doesn't know better and doesn't want to. It's dizzy and foolish and fierce. The kind of love is really a one time only thing. And then there was Jeremiah. When I looked at Jeremiah, I saw past, present, and future. He didn't just know the girl I used to be. He knew the right now me and he loved me anyway. My two great loves. I think I always knew I would be Belly Fisher one day. I just didn't know it was gonna happen like this. The wedding? I forgot about all this shit. It's all like rushing back to me. I remember when I first read this, like I did not expect them to like be together. And when it says like she crawled into bed with him, like in the first chapter, I was like, also I think the biggest reason why I'm not like a shipper of Jeremiah and Belly, besides the whole like competition with Conrad nonsense, 
is mostly because there's like no details of their relationship there was like no build-up there was no like moments between them and i need like a build-up and like a realistic back and forth like longing some kind of buildup and like stuff like that and there's like, like nothing between them they're just like together we don't really get like a buildup between them at all so i don't get attached to it and i think that's why i don't ship them and we didn't even get to see it it happened in the time jump i feel like her and con the whole story is like back and forth between her and conrad and then with jeremiah and belly like we didn't get that so i i like feel nothing towards them they're just like there and belly the biggest red flag in the entire world why would you date someone who's in a frat jeremiah's in a frat of course he is but like you're doomed you're doomed as soon as you made that decision your boyfriend who is in a fraternity went to cabo and cheated on you that is the college experience <laughs> belly's like cleaning her dress in the bathroom and she overhears the girls being like i'm so jealous you got to hook up with him and Lacey goes yeah whatever happens in cabo stays in cabo and then belly's like there's no way they're talking about jeremiah right okay she just confronted him oh poor girl she really had all the confidence in him too he made it worse because instead of just apologizing right away he goes lacy kept following me around all week she wouldn't leave me alone i swear to you i didn't want to hook up with her it just happened allegedly they were like on a break but it wasn't like official i don't really know i'm confused he still hasn't even said sorry swesh just stuck with conrad he would have never done that to her i'm not even exaggerating when i'm saying this girl screaming crying and throwing up she literally screamed at him bursted into tears and then threw up. I just don't understand the Team Jeremiah shippers. Even after they know he does this to her and hurts her this bad, they're still Team Jeremiah? You, if you're Team Jeremiah, this is a self-reflection moment. They were dating for two years. He's known her her whole life. They cheated on her. And you ship them? You want them to be together? Belly just thought they made out and then Jeremiah's like, no, we had sex. Oh my god. And she just slapped him. He's like, it doesn't matter because I love you and I don't love her. It didn't mean anything with her. If you loved her, you wouldn't have done that. What do you mean it didn't mean anything? Is it like sadistic and fucked up of me that this is the scene I'm most excited to see in the show? I'm so excited to see how they act it out. When I first read this, I remember the rage I felt when she gets back together with Jeremiah after this. Like I was like, Belly, I want to fight. I want to square up. Let's get in the fucking ring because I need to knock some sense into you. You know, like he is trying to play this whole like, I'm so sorry. He's crying, like trying to get her to forgive him, being like, I love you so much. Like we can go back to the way we were like please but he's only sorry because he got caught he wasn't gonna tell her this happened he wasn't like feeling so guilty he had to come clean because he loves his girlfriend so much he can't believe he betrayed her this way no he wasn't gonna tell her she had to overhear it from someone else in the beginning of this vlog i'm pretty sure i said the reason i don't like jeremiah is because of how oblivious he is and like how he's always in a different world and never knows what's going on and can't be taken seriously and then she goes he's so oblivious sometimes i had to wonder if it was on purpose <laughs> we're getting a little, a little flashback he's explaining the cabo trip to belly and she's like oh i thought you were going home and he's like like, why are you jealous if you're so worried you should just come with me instead of being like don't be worried it's gonna be fine and then he goes there's a sorority going they're getting a bunch of rooms at the same resort as us he's getting worse oh my god i would have broken up with him for good from just the situation alone i wouldn't even give him the opportunity to cheat on me because i would have broken up with him before he even left because why is he being like this one of the other frat bros like invited his girlfriend and then she's like oh like you never invited me why didn't you want me to go in the first place and he goes well, I wouldn't mind if this was just a guy's trip after just explaining that a whole sorority is going with them. And then he goes, if you don't trust me by now, I don't know what to tell you. I've never done anything to make you question me. And then he went and cheated on her. The audacity. Belly's absolutely snapping. Well, have I ever told you that I think your fraternity is stupid? Because I do. <laughs> he gets so offended. Just because I'm not pre-med, you think I'm this lazy frat guy? And Belly goes, don't put your inferiority complex on me. <laughs> Talking because Conrad was the one who's pre-med. Conrad was the one at Stanford working a part-time job at a lab. And Jeremiah was the one who told people he majored in beerology. <gasps> He's the flop brother and she just called him. <laughs> she hit him right in his insecurities. Oh, and then they broke up. He did that on purpose. He wanted to hook up with someone else over spring break and he's like, let me not invite her and let's start a big fight so we can go on a break. I can hook up with someone else and we come back and I don't have to tell her because we were on a break. Yeah, and as soon as he got back, they, they made up with each other and apologized. He even brought her a present and they hung out for that whole week so that I never felt closer to him. But now she realizes it was just because he was guilty. And you know what the worst part is? The worst part is that Belly and Jeremiah 
never even had sex. They've never had sex. They've been together for two years. They never had sex. And then he went and hooked up and had sex with another girl in that one week. Oh, that's awful. Stop. She said, it was so humiliating thinking about how naive I'd been. I thought he would wait as long as it took for me to be ready. I really believed that. But how could we be together now? It hurt so bad. It was hard to breathe. But the fact that she knew him in a way I didn't. Had experienced something with him that I hadn't. That felt like the biggest betrayal of all. I need Conrad back. I miss him. See, these girls think just like I do. Like she's telling her friends. Belly's like, I feel like I can't trust him ever again. And she goes, keeping a secret like that from the person you love is probably the worst part. Belly says, you don't think that cheating is the worst part? No, I mean, yeah, that's horrible. But he should have just told you. It was turning it into a secret that gave it power. Every time I get to the end of the chapter, like I feel like I have to read the next one. But I can't. I need to stop. I'm stopping at chapter 8. I'm going to continue tomorrow after I get my hair done. Next time you see me, I might look a little bit different. Hair reveal. What do we think? Anyway, I'm gonna read now and I decided that I'm gonna read this entire book in one sitting. I have a flight in the morning and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to finish the series if I don't finish tonight. It's absolutely grind this out. Christmas when she's going to cousins. She hasn't been there in so long. She's Danny Jeremiah, they haven't been in years. And then she gets there and it says I woke up to the sound of someone breaking in the house. Conrad! When she saw it was him, she ran and hugged him. It was all so familiar. We had been here before, just like this, only two Christmases ago. So much has happened since then. He had a whole new life now, and so did I. Still, in some ways, it was like no time or distance has passed between us. In some ways, it felt the same. I can't wait for Conrad to fucking explain why he did what he did and, like, left her and let her be with Jeremiah. Because once she hears that shit, that's when she realizes she's been a dumb clown. Belly just fell and hit her head. But it's cute because Conrad's helping her and picking her up. Looking up at him, I had this sudden thought. Oh my god, I still love you. <laughs> he was a part of my DNA. I had brown hair and had freckles, and I would always have Conrad in my heart. Eek. Belly didn't tell Jeremiah that she went to Cousins. She didn't even tell him that Conrad was there. Now, when he finds out, he's gonna think it was sus, even though nothing happened. <gasps> Belly's sometimes just like me, for real. She's, like, talking about how Jeremiah keeps, like, spam texting her, like, apologizing for cheating. And then she's like, leave me alone, give me some space, like, stop. And then he actually stops and she's like, why the fuck did he stop? Like, he should be begging for forgiveness. <laughs> like, why are they so scared to tell the family? If they think they're making the right decision, why are they like, oh my god, like, should we tell the family? Because they're all going to, like, some charity thing. Even Taylor knows better. He's like, but Belly, he cheated on you. And Belly's like, we're starting over. I really love him. And now Belly's, like, sacrificing all the things she wanted at her wedding. Like, Taylor's talking about how she wanted all these different things. And Belly's like, no, I just want something simple and small. Girl, no, you don't. Like, I already didn't like Jeremiah because I knew this book was coming. And this is the book that just makes me, like, not like him at all. Like, they're trying to plan the wedding. And he's being so immature and so annoying. Oh, my God. She's thinking about how she really thinks Conrad's going to be there. And she goes, because I really did believe he was coming. If I didn't, would I have taken extra care with my hair that morning? In the shower, would I have shaved my legs not once but twice just to be safe? Would I have put on that new dress and worn those heels that made my feet hurt if I truly didn't believe he was coming? No. She's literally shaving her legs for her Beyonce's brother. <laughs> our first Conrad point of view. Our first Conrad POV, everyone. This is big time. And it starts with him noticing Belly. I saw her before she saw me. I watched Jair sit down in the first row in the seat next to Belly. I watched him take her hand. The muscles in my stomach clenched and I moved behind a woman in a wide-brimmed hat. This was a mistake. Coming back here was a mistake. Ah, oh my god. Belly saw conrad from across the room for the first time and then she goes next to me i heard jeremiah clear his throat i startled i forgot and he was standing next to me for those couple of seconds i forgot everything <sighs> jeremiah is so jealous and petty right now and all that's happening is conrad and belly making eye contact from across the room <laughs> we stood all together jeremiah conrad me steven conrad slug his arm around jeremiah's and my shoulders it was all like no time had passed the summer kids together again not Jeremiah blurting out the news of engagement in front of everyone. I asked Belly to marry me and she said yes. She said yes. We're getting married this August. Everyone is dead silent. It was like the restaurant got really quiet all of a sudden. Like all of the noise and chatter just got sucked out of the room. Everything just stopped. <laughs> no one ships them and no one supports this. Even Steven is telling Belly like if you guys love each other that much you can just wait a couple years to be together and if you can't you for sure shouldn't be getting married. See Steven knows they're literally just getting married to rush into it because they know they won't last if they don't. They're literally using it as a cover-up for what happened. Belly's like 
really upset about Laurel not wanting to be a part of her event. And now Jeremiah's trying to fix it by meeting with her. And this is so funny to me because Jeremiah like tries to convince Laurel that like, it's okay. Like, I know you want me as a, as a son-in-law. Like everything's gonna be fine. And she's like, no, fuck you. Like I don't support this. And she's like, Jeremiah, I know you're not ready. You don't take anything seriously. You take things too lightly. Like marriage is not something you just do on a whim. And then I remember later on in the book, well, I guess we'll get there, but Conrad asks Laurel to go to the wedding or something. And that's what makes her go. Now I feel like Belly's like all for getting married because she's trying to defy her mom, like prove her mom wrong. She's like, I don't care what you say. Like now we really are getting married. Like we are going full force. And she's moving out and moving into the cousin's house where Conrad is staying. Just her and him alone because Jeremiah has to go to work. The way Belly's like, we we're having a small wedding. And then Jeremiah's like, I need to invite all my frat brothers. Ew. He's like trying to convince Belly to sleep in his bed with him. Cause she's like, I want to sleep in my own bed at the beach house, like the good old days. And he's like, come on, you know, I won't touch you. Like referencing to sex, cause she doesn't want to have sex with him yet. No wonder she doesn't have sex with you, you're literally a weirdo. <laughs> oh my God, she slept alone in her bed and the last line is, I slept better than I have in weeks. <laughs> jealous Conrad, jealous Conrad. Of his perspective, I wish this whole book was his point of view. I wanted to kick his ass. This is between me and Belly, smug piece of shit. He was marrying my girl and I couldn't do anything about it. I just had to watch it happen because he was my brother because I promised. Take care of him, Connie, I'm counting on you. That's the reason for all of this, is Susanna was like, just make Jeremiah happy, and Conrad cannot take that lightly. She said it on her fucking deathbed, and now he'll do whatever he can to like make sure Jeremiah is happy, even sacrificing Belly and his happiness and his relationship with her. And Jeremiah is so mean to Conrad, like never is nice to him. Like this is quite literally just turning into a Jeremiah hate video. <laughs> Uh, Jeremiah and his like little icks like everything that Belly is noticing about him now She's talking about how she's like roommates with Conrad now at the house and she's like Conrad had always been neat He was the exact opposite of Jeremiah in that way Jeremiah never changed the roll of toilet paper It would never occur to him to buy paper towels or to soak a greasy pan in hot water and dishwashing soap Like he's just inconsiderate like he just doesn't do the extra steps but Conrad does Love confession love confession except it's not to Belly's face Conrad told like a girl he was seeing in college she was like have you ever been in love and he said yes and she said how many times once on a scale of one to ten how in love were you you can't put love on a scale but if you had to i didn't look at her when i say ten they're at the house and he's like if she knew how much i still cared it was all over i wouldn't be able to walk away again the first time was hard enough the promises you make on your mother's death better promises that are absolute they're titanium there's no way you're breaking them i promised my mother that i would take care of my brother that i would look after him i kept my word i did it the best way i could by leaving he's thinking about when he left he said god if i could i'd go back to that moment and say all the right things i'd tell her i loved her i'd make it so that she never looked that way again see conrad's having like character development like he's like I couldn't keep doing this, going back and forth, holding her close and then pushing her away. It wasn't right. And then he goes to Jeremiah, it's okay with me if you wanna be with her. This was the night at the motel, by the way. Again, with Jeremiah being inconsiderate, talking about like planning the wedding and the wedding song and like all this stuff. And he's making their wedding into like some big joke and like not taking into consideration anything Belly wants. Like she's like, I want a carrot cake. He's like, well, I want chocolate. Oh, well, I've always dreamed about having this song for our first dance. And he's like, I want this song from this movie. Come on, Bells, be a sport. We can put it on YouTube. I bet we'll get a shit ton of hits. It'll be funny. God, he's annoying as fuck. Like take something seriously for once in your damn life. This entire book is just showing how their relationship is destined for failure and Jeremiah is selfish. Like as he reached across the table and plucked a scallop off my plate and popped it into his mouth. I quickly stuffed the last scallop into my mouth before he could take that too. I wondered if for the rest of our lives, was Jeremiah going to try to eat my last scallop or my last bite of steak? <laughs> like that's just a little thing, but it's like, why would you take the last bite of her food? <laughs> the first sentence of this Conrad perspective chapter, I would rather have had someone shoot me in the head with a nail gun repeatedly than have to watch the two of them cuddling on the couch together all night. He's talking about his relationship with his dad. And then he's like, I didn't want to be the kind of man who cheated on his wife. And then he's explaining why he quit. Like everything he loved was because his dad also loved it and he wanted to spite his dad and take away anything that would make his dad proud of him. So that's why he quit football. It took me a long time to figure it out that I was the one who had put my dad on that pedestal. I did that, not him. And then I despised him for not being perfect, for being human. See, he's having character development. This is the part where Conrad meets with Laurel and he's like, I think you need to be there for Belly. Like you need to go to the wedding shower. Laurel is like actually listening. And then she goes, so tell me, what's your interest in all of this? And he says, I just want her to be happy. And Laurel goes, just her? He's like, well, Jeremiah too. In opposite of Jeremiah fashion, Conrad driving the car notices that Belly's looking out the window at a fruit stand and they drive past it. And he's like, do you want to go back there? And she's like, no, that's okay. We already passed it. 
and he quickly makes a U-turn on the one-way street. Conrad reached out and wiped my chin with his shirt. It was maybe the most intimate thing anyone has ever done to me. I felt lightheaded, unsteady on my feet. It was all in the way he looked at me, just those few seconds. Just one look, one touch from him, and I was shaking. It was madness, and I was marrying his brother. Oh God, girl. Floral came to the wedding shower and Belly's so excited. But she doesn't know why she's there. She doesn't know that Conrad's the reason. We have a team Conrad and Belly shipper. Some random man that works in Cousins that I guess Conrad's knew his whole life is talking about like the wedding and then goes, so are you gonna cry about it like a punk or are you gonna do something? And then Conrad's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, don't be cute with me. You love her, right? She's the one. You tell him. So Conrad just hurt himself surfing, like he got a big cut. And then Belly's like helping him clean his wounds. And then they're like face to face really close. And she's thinking, I knew I should move away, but I couldn't. I was sitting next to Jeremiah and he had his arm around my chair. And yet all night I talked to other people. I didn't look in his direction, but I always knew where he was. I was painfully aware of him. When he was nearby, my body hummed. When he was away, there was a dull ache. With him near, I felt everything. He was sitting next to Annika. He's like talking to other people and she's jealous. Right as Jeremiah's right next to her. Yes, Taylor coming in clutch and telling Belly that Conrad's the one that convinced Laurel to go to the wedding shower. Conrad's about to find out that Jeremiah cheated on her. Oh my God. Okay, they're at the bachelor party and he's overhearing the fucking frat bros being like, oh, Jeremiah's so lucky that he got a hook up with Lacey and Cabo. And Conrad said, I saw red under the tables. I clenched my fists. I wanted to hit something. First, I wanted to hit these two guys, and then I wanted to go find my brother and beat the shit out of him. I love how Conrad's trying to be sweet and being like, Belly, like, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but I have to. I owe it to you. My brother's cheated on you. And she's like, I know. He's like, you knew? You're still marrying him? He made a mistake. He hates himself for what he did. I forgave him. Everything's fine now. Everything's really great. Conrad's mouth curled in disgust. Are you kidding me? I never thought you'd be the kind of girl who would put up with that from a guy. And then she goes, I put up a lot worse from you. I never once cheated on you. I never even looked at another girl when we were together the bare minimum <laughs> as she was walking away conrad called out i still love you i turned around and looked at him don't say that he stepped closer i don't know if i'll ever get you out of my system not completely everyone is asking the real questions they're like why are you getting married now why not just live together and then belly's like i had asked myself the same question and i still haven't come up with a good answer girl that's because there is no good answer there is no reason besides the fact that you guys are rushing into it to lock each other in he's trying to lock you in he's like you broke my heart last night all right is that what you want to hear I still love you. I never stopped. Belly's thinking, suddenly I had this feeling, this absolutely certain, that I was never going to be able to let him go. Conrad POV, she loved me. I didn't need to hear her say it out loud. I knew it innately in the way she looked at me just then. Beyond the questions and the doubts and the pit of my stomach, there was all this regret. If I had told her a year ago, a month ago, even a week ago, would things be different now? It was the day before her wedding. In 24 hours, she'd be married to my brother. Why did I wait so long? Ah, finally getting the actual physical proof that Jeremiah loves Belly mostly because of competition and to prove something to Conrad because he literally just purposely kissed Belly in front of everyone and then Belly says after I saw his eyes flicker over the end of the table where Conrad was sitting so quick I could have imagined it Laurel just asked Conrad how are you feeling and he said honestly it's pretty much killing me she says I'm sorry I know you love her a lot this must be really hard for you oh they're talking about Selena I bowed my head and started to cry Conrad no Belly's telling Jeremiah last night Conrad told me he still has feelings for me Jeremiah's like I'm gonna kill him are you marrying me to erase him uh, real rich coming from you marrying me to erase him. You're literally just marrying her to cover up the fact that you cheated. See the way you look at him. I don't think you've ever looked at me like that. Not even once. I forgot about the letters. Susanna wrote them letters to open on their wedding day. <laughs> Jeremiah's being so immature. He literally ran away on their wedding day. No one knows where he is. Belly doesn't even know if they're getting married. Like what is going on? Can he use his words like an adult? Conrad and Jeremiah confrontation. Conrad's trying to get him to go back to the wedding. Like trying to convince Jeremiah to go get married. Because he is the better man. I gave you the go-ahead because I trusted you to take care of her and treat her right. Then you go and cheat on her in Cabo during spring break. So maybe I should be the one asking if you love her or not. As soon as I got the last word out, Jared's fist was connecting with my face hard. Conrad just admitted that he loved her to Jeremiah. Sometimes I think she's the only girl I could ever be with. But Jer, she picked you. You're the one she wants to marry, not me. And then he gave her the letter from Susanna. You're not my brother anymore. You're dead to me. I don't want you at my wedding. I don't want you in my life. I want you gone. So dramatic. The letter that was given to Jeremiah with his name on it was actually Conrad's letter with Conrad's name on the inside. <laughs> so now Conrad gets to read it. Conrad brought her the infinity necklace. And she just found out in the third book, she just found out that that necklace was supposed to be her birthday present. Conrad, 
I'm sorry for screwing everything up. I hurt you again and for that, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm not going to stay for the wedding. I'm just going to take off now. I won't see you again, not for a long time, probably for the best. Being near you like this, it hurts. I need you to know that no matter what happens, it was worth it. It was worth it to me. Being with you, loving you, it was all worth it. He came up and kissed me on the forehead and stepped away. The flashback scene of them on Valentine's Day. Conrad and Belly, oh, they're cute. They're looking at the stars and she says, this is one of my top moments. And he said, mine too. Jeremiah and Belly, confrontation on the wedding day. Let's see, where is this gonna go? Ew, he says, I want all of you. I want every part, but you're holding back from me. I ask, sex? That's part of it. Let her wait until she's ready. Jeremiah, how do you think it makes me feel knowing I'm second choice, knowing it was always supposed to be you two? At least he knows. <laughs> He's the one pulling away. He's not gonna marry her. Let's go. He's like, I'm not gonna marry you. Not unless you can look at me right now, look me in the eyes and tell me you don't still love Conrad. Jer, I love you. That's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is, do you love him too? Yes. Jeremiah just said in the letter that he read that was actually for Conrad. It said, Suzanne is an OG Conrad and Belly shipper. She said that she knows Conrad's only been in love one time and it was with you, with Belly. Belly wants to now say, sometimes I wondered if we had rushed into getting married because we were both trying to prove something to the other and maybe even to ourselves. But maybe we just weren't meant to be. Girl, it's both. And they're not getting married, let's go. But I'm pretty sure there's a time jump now. We don't even get to see Conrad and Belly get together. Yep, a couple years later. Conrad and Belly are getting married, as they should. But like, what the fuck? I'm annoyed with that time jump. Like, I'm never getting over that. I hope they show more in the show, but I doubt they will, actually. They dance the song she wanted. And Jeremiah's there with a date, and he smiles. This is our start. This is the moment it becomes real. We are married. We are infinite. Me and Conrad. The first boy I ever slow danced with, ever cried over, and ever loved. Done! Final thoughts, I don't know if this is gonna be a very controversial opinion or unpopular opinion, but why did I like the show better? I just feel like it was executed so well. I wonder if I'll feel the same way with like the other seasons. If they continue at the rate they're going, then probably I will, but yeah. That's kind of how I feel. How do you guys feel? Comment down below. Who's your favorite character in this book series? Who do you ship? Tell me all your thoughts. I'd love to hear. But with all that being said, that's the end of today's reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I had the best time remembering and re-experiencing this series for the first time as like an adult. The show definitely deserves the hype. If you haven't watched it, what the fuck are you doing? Go watch it on Amazon Prime. That's the end of today's video. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.